Hi, Chris Perry from Equity Guru. Pleased to see you again. Uh, this is my three minute hit on a company called Tidal uh, with two eyes uh, because it's uh, technology based, so it has to be spelled weird. Okay, so Tidal, T I D L is the ticker symbol. Uh, if you take a cursory look at the uh, stock chart for this company over the last, let's say, six months, what you see is uh, pretty much a straight line. I mean, there's been some ups and downs, but you're looking from a 13 and a half cents six months ago to 12 cents today. Now, in an economy where most companies have been down 40 percent, 60 percent, even 80 percent on some of the tech companies out there, uh, being down only from 15 cents to 12 cents, uh, that's considered a win in a lot of books. Now, I know that Tidal expects to be a lot higher up on the stock chart than it is right now. I know that they look at it as being something where they're not quite happy with the position that they're in. It's an $8 million market cap company, which, uh, you know, as a tech company, it's on the downside. But here's the deal. Tidal has something that's really interesting to me. Um, they're, what, they're, what they're doing is they're creating uh, uh, sports betting, esports betting specifically, tools for companies that are out there in the betting markets, right? And that's a big explosive space. You see there are ads all over TV right now. If you watch any sort of sport, sports interaction and blah, 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 Betway, etc. They're, they're advertising the house down because in Ontario, sports betting is now a thing and, and it's growing across the US. It's already all over Europe, Asia uh, and Canada. It's sort of been in, in, its, in its infancy. So there's a lot of activity in this space. What Tidal has that is really interesting to me and I think is something that people have really overlooked is a function that doesn't just allow you to bet on a, a, a Call of Duty tournament in Korea. It doesn't just allow you to bet on FaZe Clan in a Rocket League tournament. What it allows you to do is to invest in yourself. Um, if I can actually find the... Oh, that's good. I've lost it completely. Bet on yourself. There we go. Um, so this allows you to, if you're so inclined... Uh, actually go in and say, you know, while you're in, a, in, a, in an esports tournament or even a game, that you will achieve certain levels. I'll get in the top 10, I'll get over 10 kills, I'll have over 5 assists. Bet on yourself. If you do well in your game and you hit your targets, you make money. Now, that's got to be interesting to a lot of esports players. Certainly my kid spends a lot of time out at uh, the gaming stadium in Richmond, uh, spends a lot of time out at, at UBC at various tournaments playing Super Smash Bros. And the opportunity for him to bet on himself, I guarantee he would be into that. Uh, because, you know, who wouldn't be? Like, you betting on some 17-year-old in Estonia is a lot less attractive, I think, to most people than betting on their own damn self, hitting the targets that they regularly hit in casual games. So, for me, title has something here that is unique and why that's important is in the esports space in the betting space in the sports betting space there's a whole lot of similarity right hey we've got odds from 350 different places that we coagulate into one stream cool so is everybody else hey we create esports betting experiences that other companies can utilize yeah so is everybody else hey we've got odds on premier league soccer and we've got odds on major league baseball and a sports book and a so does everybody else daily fantasy sports snore so does everybody else. What do you got that's new? Well, Tidal Gaming has the ability for players to plug in and bet on themselves. That's new. And to me, that's worth a lot more than $8 million. If someone was to just create that technology and try and license it out, I feel like you'd get a lot more than $8 million back for it. Uh, it makes Tidal a, 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 an acquisition target. The $8 million market cap that's sitting there makes them a real acquisition target. It would be nothing for some of the more capitalized players in the space to drop down a $12 million bid on an $8 million company and snaffle up all of that underpriced stock. So why I think Tidal is worth looking at right now, I don't think that they're going to make millions and millions of dollars by selling their data to other companies that will sell their data to other companies. I don't think they're going to make billions of dollars by going out there and saying, hey, do you want to bet on a Dota tournament? I do think that if this bet on yourself thing is a little bit focused and a little bit pushed and publicized and marketed and that people start to actually engage with it. Maybe some influencers out there start betting on themselves in Twitch streams. This could be a real thing. Now, I'm not going to say that you should go out there and spend your rent on title stock because let's face it, if you're looking at the chart, uh, it's it's been pretty much where it is 
on and off for the last three, four, five months. Specifically, the last three months, it's kind of dropped between 10 cents and 15 cents. There's almost been a, a ceiling on the stock of 15 cents. That it's, as soon as it gets to that level, there's someone in there who's got a little stock to sell that's like, okay, let's get rid of that. It drops below that, but it rarely gets above that until, and this is why I'm talking about it right now, the last few weeks when it's actually bounced as high as 18 cents. Now, right now it's at around 12, so it's a value point. It's only an $8 million market cap. You can get in there and actually do some decent little profiteering from a company that only has 70 million shares out there. It's not a crazy share structure. It's not ballooning with debt. It's just a good little deal from the guys that used to run the score, which became itself a billion dollar deal. Um, I think that there's something to be said for this title gaming, and I think people are sleeping on it. <coughs> if I'm honest, I think I was sleeping on it. You know, we've been talking about them on and off for the last six months or so. And uh, realistically, it's only just recently that I looked at this bet on yourself thing and realized the potential of it. Uh, it makes every gamer a potential client. Rather than, you know, fishing from a pool of maybe 20 international gaming sites that might utilize your technology and plug it into theirs, it makes a potential marketplace of billions of video game users. Now, can Tidal get themselves to a place where they can get that information in front of those billions of gamers? That's to be seen. That's really the risk right now, is that maybe they don't properly capitalize and they don't properly execute. But if they do manage to get that thing out into the zeitgeist to a point where people understand what it is, then that $8 million market cap looks minuscule in a second. So for mine, with things where they are right now on the share price, I think maybe, just maybe, at 11 cents, knowing that it's pretty much been 12 or above for the past three months, and that it goes as high as 18 cents recently, just on a random Thursday. I think that there's something to be to be said with this thing. And as long as it, as, long as they don't run out of money and develop themselves into zero, as long as they don't go out there and fail on their marketing side, and I don't think they will, because the guys running this thing are actually seasoned veterans who've done it before. I think this thing might be one of those that you look at later down the line and think, I wish I'd have just got in, even just a small bet, uh, when the going was good. Mm -hmm.